Star Star, she head up. Star Star, copy all, go ahead. Message to Observer, Alpha, three rounds, 18 delay in effect, three guns. Bravo, two rounds, two guns. Record his target, end of mission. Target suppressed, out. Chris from Soda Mill Sim here again with the product review of the Angel Custom Rocket Valve for the following KWA and KSC models, being the LM4, the USP Pistol, and the Glo- Wait, I don't want to be sued by Cybergun. Let's just cover that up there, and let's just say the boxy German design pistol that's made from polymer and metal? So what's the difference between this valve and the standard KWA model? First is that unlike the standard model here, where the gas travels around the valve, with the Angel Custom valve, it actually travels through the center. Other differences being that it's also Teflon coated for smooth operation, and it has an O-ring around the body, which is what I assume is to keep the valve centered and provide a better seal when the valve is closed. Now one last thing I do want to point out is when you're reinstalling the Angel Custom Rocket Valve with the spring, when you reinstall the spring onto the valve, it will not go all the way to the base like the standard valve, and it will only go on about a third of the way as you can see here. That is the correct installation. You do not have a problem. Don't worry about it. That is how it's meant and designed to be. So I saw someone who commented on this product stating that it does not work with the LM4. I'd imagine the reason he thought that was probably because of that spring issue that I mentioned before, not going completely over the valve, because as you can see, yeah, works just fine. So now you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, it's a nice and shiny rocket valve, what does it do? Does it actually give any type of performance increase? Here are some chrono results. So here's the stock rocket valve running 0.2 OBBs. Now, here is the Angel Custom Rocket Valve. As you can see, that's a 100 FPS increase in comparison to the stock rocket valve. Perfect for your DMR build. Now, you may be wondering, can I lower the FPS if that's a little too high? And yes, if you cut off some of the coils on the rocket valve spring, you can reduce it up to 50 FPS. So if you want to shoot maybe around 450 or so, that is attainable. Now, do note as well, though, that if you have a tight bore barrel, that's going to shoot you up higher. And with the without cutting the coils off the spring and using a tight bore, you're definitely going to be shooting over 500 FPS. So I guess if that's your thing and you are shooting over 500 FPS, you might as well start your collection. So pick up this product today at Airsoft Outlet Northwest in Cornelius, Oregon, or order it online at www.airsoftoutletnw.com. First, we have to remove the bolt carrier group piston stop. As you can see, it comes out pretty easily. Next, we're going to want to remove this small E-clip here in the middle. You can either use two screwdrivers, picks, or you can modify a pick tool like I did, which makes it really easy to remove this clip. I also magnetize this tool so that the clip doesn't go flying and it actually catches it. Next, just push on the rear of the piston here and pull it out of the bolt carrier group. So here I actually have an AKG piston cup seal. Uh, if you want to learn how to do that, check out Airsoft Outlet Northwest YouTube page for a how-to video. So for the next step, we're going to remove a push pin located here at the rear of the body. Now just use a punch and push it through. Now with your model, it probably likely will not come out this easy. I've, I've done it many times, so it's a little easier to pull out. But all you have to do is just push the pin out with a punch, maybe use a couple of pliers like this to uh, pull it out the other side. All right, so just go ahead and remove the bolt base from the main body. All you have to do is just pull it right out, nice and easy, and just set that piece aside as well. Next, we're going to remove this middle pin from the main body. Now, do note that one side is larger than the other and can only be removed and installed in one direction. So, back to the punch. Now, as I'm going to show you here, 
It is in there very tight, so very unlikely that you're going to get that out by hand. But just go ahead and get a small hammer or even that set of pliers that you used earlier. Just give it a little tap here. Get another one little here. All right, you can see there, push pin is coming out. Pull that out with some pliers. And now, remove the rocket valve and the rocket valve spring. Now just reverse the procedure for the Angel Customs valve and you're good to go.